Greetings, gun enthusiasts. I'm here with the results of yesterday's test shoot, where we compared two of the Hornady Critical Defense FDX bullets with the factory inserts, and three with the inserts removed. And I have sliced open the gel block to reveal the wound tracks of each of the projectiles. And I have a bit of a mystery here today because you can clearly see here's a successful, you know, there's the polymer tip. That is successful expansion and penetration. This was the lower left test shot. And its total penetration was about 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. 11 and 3 quarter inches. And let's take a look at that expansion. That is textbook. I love that bullet. I wish they all looked like this. That's comparable to the experimental um, tips removed version. I don't know what to say about that. Pretty impressive. All right. I haven't been able to locate the other polymer tip in the gel so my assumption is it's retained somewhere and this is the only bullet that actually this is the center shot of my my little pattern of five if you can see the uh, the dice shape on the two layer denim um, this is the center shot and I can't quite see inside of it if it still has the polymer tip in there. I thought that the lower left and center shots were the factory originals. Again, here's the here's the wound track. This isn't quite. Uh, I accidentally cut off the uh, the wound track for the center shot. This this gel also contains the upper upper right test bullet but you get an idea of the the length of the tracks still that one went just over 12 inches the other one in the same track one of the experimental bullets went just under 12 or right right about 12 and now let's pull those up, get those open, see what they look like. Yep, as anticipated, the center shot was the other polymer tip still inside. And, as typical, it failed expansion. Here's one of the polymer tip removed bullets. Bullet was facing forward in the gel. Nice expansion on that one. Very similar to our other experiment a couple of weeks ago. Except, of course, that we got about 12 inches of penetration on that one. Versus the 13 we saw a couple of weeks ago. But these are probably... Um, these shots probably penetrated a little bit less, simply because I cooked up a slightly denser batch of gel or because the temperature was closer to the 39 degree specification it's supposed to be actually I, I tested the temperature on these and it was right around 38 on both blocks the air temperature was pretty low by the by the end of the shoot there was frost developing on the surfaces of the blocks <laughs> so these are probably relatively dense all right now this would be the upper 
upper left shot here. And what did I do with the corresponding piece of gel from the other block? There we, here we are. Upper left. All right. The upper left shot penetrated. A healthy ten and a half inches. Not the best. But you can see the bullet tumbled, came to rest base base forward. And again, proper expansion. In the process of tumbling, it pulled a, it inverted a couple of those copper pedals. Not so concerned about that. But good expansion on that one, just like the test a couple of weeks ago. Tumbling, as I always say, is probably helpful to a certain extent if you are uh, in a defensive encounter. I know, for example, that the 5.56 bullet is designed to tumble in a wound to, uh, to enhance the effects. And... The third of the experimental tip removed shots is the lower right. So here's that total wound track. And that is 11 and a half, a little bit over 11 and a half, almost 11 and 5 eighths inches. I'll get that. And again, that one has tumbled and come to rest base forward after expanding in the gel. Got a similar look to it. Copper petals dragged, dragged back up, but the initial expansion is evident. So these then are our five rounds. Let me see if I can stand them up including a successful expansion with the polymer tip in a bullet with the polymer tip which is which contradicts a little bit what I've seen with these before all right zoom in on those a little bit here you can see exactly what's going on Not bad. I still think I prefer the rounds with the polymer tips removed, even though that one obviously expanded quite well. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the first block, which is four and five eighths inches of the total column, and examine the wound tracks, although I do recognize that they're not analogous to human tissue, but they give you an idea of the energy. All right, here's the first block. That's a pretty substantial wound. Look at that funky blossom right there about four inches into the gel three and a half I don't even know what that's about but these make the most magnificent wound channels <laughs> for 22 22 caliber projectile 40 grain here's another one just violent This is the upper right shot. Pretty impressive. And these, you cut away just a little bit more here. Try to expose these completely. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at the visible tracks in there, all full of denim and lead bits. Good grief, I would hate to be shot with this ammunition. And just zoom in on that just a little bit here. The light is fighting me. <laughs> Pretty cool. Move this ruler here. See if I can get a better better idea there. I mean they're over an inch wide at the wide at the wide points of the expansions. This one. Alright. Enough of that. Irrelevant. Point is, a lot of energy transfer coming through these, and they expand more reliably with the polymer tips removed. All right, that was fun. Geographies are out.